Well, turning now to the political climate in our state, voters are just days away from choosing the candidates in this uh, summer's recall race. And Rock County reporter Margot Spann shows us how the focus of the recall is to shifting to job creation. It's great to be in Beloit. I love Kevin of Beloit. Yeah, yeah. Tom Barrett is one of four Democratic candidates vying to be governor. With new federal statistics showing Wisconsin lost more jobs last year than any other state, he pushed his job creation plans to Rock County residents. Rock County has been hit hard with unemployment. And whether it's Beloit or Janesville or all the communities in Rock County, is I'll be a governor who will focus on creating jobs here. Kathleen Falk spoke to News 3 this morning about her plans to create jobs. Like with stem cell research and all the diagnostic equipment that comes from that, we ought to be manufacturing that here in Wisconsin. So I've got lots of ideas and I'm ready to go to work. I wanted to see whether I should vote for him or uh, Kathleen Falk. The battle over collective bargaining rights may have sparked the recall, but Rock County residents say that same energy could jolt the local economy and put folks back to work. If people can't work, they can't support anything or anybody, including their own families. And, and people are getting desperate now and wondering where the jobs are. I think the emphasis now does have to be on jobs. It is, is of paramount importance that we get some uh, industry going in Wisconsin, get some jobs created. We need to put money into everyday people's pockets where they're going to spend locally and they're then going to create the jobs in that manner, which is the opposite of trickle-down economics. Now, Governor Walker spent the day in Sturgeon Bay where he broke ground on a new assisted living facility. He estimates that the project will create at least 50 new jobs. A new report from the Government Accountability Board estimates that 30 to 35 percent of voters will turn out for Tuesday's primaries. They estimate that that's about a million and a half people. All right, Margo, thank you very much.